everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and welcome to Face Mask Friday. Today, Chelsea and I are going in with the Yensa Pumpkin Turmeric Mask. This is a polishing, radiance, uh, exfoliating type mask, and Yensa features their eight super blacks. And we've used this before in the past, and it's a scrub, it's a physical exfoliant, but there's also in, some ingredients that's in it to... Um, penetrate the skin and get down in there and give yourself like a treatment so anyway it's kind of on the thick side and so you just squeeze it out it's just like a squeezy tube and between the ingredients of the pumpkin and the turmeric and you know the scrubbing particles and I think there might even be a little bit of honey in here I'm not sure anyway you can get a really nice treatment on your skin and the eight super blacks it's a eight super orange essence is what it is so anyway it smooths the skin it boosts collagen hydrates the skin causes a like a really nice radiant finish so I'm trying to apply this pretty liberally today. I'm trying to get back to exfoliating uh, twice a week, once with a chemical treatment and once with a physical treatment. So anyway, that ought to do it right there. It may be a little bit underneath my neck. And when it gets down towards the bottom, I'm like on the bottom one fourth of this. It gets um, a little bit harder to squeeze out I don't know if it's because it's thicker or what but anyway I wanted to go ahead and do all the squeezing but anyway this is really gentle on your skin you can use it up to three to four times a week which I don't exfoliate that much but twice a week is good for me and my my skin type and you know the needs my skin's needs I'm trying to get all this off my fingers so anyway you just take a cloth and you just kind of go to work on your skin and it doesn't take long this is a five to ten minute mask and so I'm just spreading it around with a damp cloth and and then I'll come, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back and rinse it all off here in just a second so anyway while we are letting this rest for a minute or two I thought that I would swatch a palette I've got this palette from Lorella the birthday Lorella fam birthday palette this is from a couple months back and I've never really used it and I don't think I've even swatched it I can't remember if I have or not if I have I did it on a Sunday night live stream probably with some other palettes anyway I wanted to dip into this and let me get me a cloth here I need a, a wipe because there's quite a few shades in this palette and I uh, so I'm probably going to have to wipe some of them off to make room for the rest of them. So anyway, I'm not going to do a look today with these shades, but I am going to swatch them for you. And then I can come back and do a look. This would have been great for me to do a look for my birthday, you know. Anyway, really pretty. I like pinks. A lot of people like pinks. So, this is called Lorella Fam 5 Birthday. Beautiful pink matte, bright. And then party, really icy pink. So I'm just gonna swatch those real quick. really pigmented that one is 
So anyway, that icy one, these, these lighter ones you could probably build up because that's the way Lorella's formulas are. But I'm not gonna take the time to build those up today because I am gonna try to make this video short and just keep this mask on my face just for a few short minutes. But I wanted to take the time to swatch this palette. Okay, and then we have Gifted, which is like a pressed glitter. Super pretty, look at that. Sprinkles. A matte or it's it's got like a sheen to it but it's it's a matte then another pressed glitter called frosting which is like a bit of a darker type pink shimmer and then a pink called cherry on top oh, lots of pinks lots of pinks in this palette so pressed glitters that's a beautiful shade right there. Very pigmented. I'm just wiping my fingers off on the on the wipe. Okay, let's see. Then we have another pressed glitter. There's actually there's several pressed glitters in this palette. Baked cake. I like that. It's got like some holographic sparkles in it. Cake batter, which has some darker tones. Then another matte called buttercream. Ooh, I like that one. Really soft and pretty. And then a shade called decadent, which has lots of like red in it. It's like a reddish pink these pressed glitters you almost need like a glitter glue anyway they don't if your fingers are wet like mine are they don't transfer as good as you probably want them to off your finger to your skin that's the only thing about pressed glitter. Sometimes it's a, it's a challenge, you know, to work with them. I like the glitter gels, like from ColourPop and different places. They're easier to work with, to me. But these pressed glitters right here transfer just fine. And if my fingers weren't so wet, I, these would probably done better. But anyway, you can see them. All right, let's. Let me try to dry my fingers off a little bit. Okay, then we have um, six more. So there's 18 shades. Okay, then we have, um, what does this say? Moist, <laughs> a word that a lot of people don't like for some reason. Confection, which is super nice. It's got like some off-white type shimmer in it. Cravings. Another beautiful matte. And then Sweet Tooth, which is a really pretty, uh, like a flesh kind of pink. Let me just go right here. That shade right there, that light one, would be really pretty as a transition color. So those four. Sweet Pea followed me over here. She's got a bed that's right there in front of the fireplace, the heater. And so when I'm filming and the heater's on, she likes being right there. Okay, just a few more, two more. Icing, which is gorgeous. Look at that, so intense. And then birthday shots which has quite a bit of uh, gold in it. So a lot of these shades are similar, but just not exactly the same. So you've got some, look at that. That is powerful right there. You've got some really pretty pinks 
that are matte that have quite a bit of pigment. There's several pressed glitters in this palette to choose from, and there's a few light shades as well. And a couple of them are satin finishes. I think this one might be a satin finish. Let's take a closer look at that one, that second to the last one. Yeah, it's called icing, it is, it's a satin finish. So Lorella Fam, Moist, and Icing, and Party. There's four satin finishes in this palette. So that one, this one right here, this one down here, and then this last one that I just swatched. Those are the satins in the palette. So, lots of textures, four satins. There's, it looks like one, two, three, four, six pressed glitters, seven pressed glitters, a lot of pressed glitters in this palette. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, mat, seven mats. Seven mats, seven pressed glitters, and four, four satin finishes. Which I don't know about y'all, but I really like a satin finish. Because you could use that, you know, just about anywhere on the eyes. The lid, the crease, the outer V, underneath the lash line. I just like a satin finish. Okay, I'm going to wipe all this off. And then we're going to clean my face. Probably going to have to use some soap and water and get all this off this some of these shades are so pigmented that they will probably leave a stain on your eyes and the glitter does have a tendency to have a, res, uh, a residue on your skin even after you wipe it off with a wipe so it's going to require you know soap and water to get it all off Okay, let's get this mask off my face. And you guys will have to let me know what you think about all these pinks. Do you like pink eye looks? What do you think about different textures? You know, what is your favorite texture to wear on your eyes? Do you like pressed glitters? Do you like mattes? Do you like satin finishes? Or which combination out of the three do you like the best? Do you like mattes and satins or what? Just let me know down in the comments. This feels good, y'all. I like, I like a good scrub. I get around my mouth really good. Because this is where I get clogged pores at, right through there. So anyway... We're fixing to eat dinner. My husband's got a corn casserole in the oven. And we haven't had it in a while. It's like a treat. So you'll have to let me know if you enjoy a corn casserole. We make it with Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix and sour cream and a can of whole kernel corn and a can of cream style corn. And then we melt a half a stick of butter in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven. We mix everything up and pour it on top of the butter where it comes around the sides of the pan and we bake it off in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes on 350. Really super easy recipe, super yummy. It's a way to take corn to the next level. Okay, so that's my skin. It, there is some redness that you can see from where I've been rubbing. And, but it feels really super smooth, really super clean. And I really like this mask and I know Chelsea does too. So anyway, when you, if you get this, I'll link it down below if you're interested. If you get this and you use it, make sure that your face is a little bit damp when you put it on, which I had already done that before I applied it. I just didn't tell y'all that. And, um, uh, Anyway, this is a product that's made in the USA. The owner of the company um, 
comes from a heritage of uh, Korean. It is Korean skincare because she's Korean and her grandmother was Korean and her mother, you know. And so anyway, um, they come, they ship it. They create it and ship it, you know, out of Los Angeles, but right here in the United States. But we have, it's like Korean skincare made here in the States, which is like wonderful. But anyway, I like this brand. She's the same owner as the brand Perlice. So both brands, Yensa and Perlice, are like A plus in my book. Highly recommend. And oh my gosh, my face feels amazing. All right, that's it for me today, you guys. Make sure and go and see Chelsea's video. Check her out and see what she's doing today. And I'm pretty sure she's going to have some really interesting content along with her pumpkin turmeric mask. And uh, let me know what you think about these pink eyeshadows. What textures are your favorite? And do you like a pink eye? A pink eye? Pink eye look? <laughs> All right, I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you today is my prayer. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.